And it's my first ride for a couple of months. I've been away. And uh, it's early September and spring is kind of in the air. There's a lot of wattles coming out. And I'm just at the Nile River crossing on that uh, Gibbs Peak Road. Thought I'd come and check out how much water's coming down here. There's, there's been some spectacular flows up the gorge, but yeah, it would have been higher a few days ago. So I've missed the, the peak of it. Still a lot of water coming down the Nile. And uh, a nice sunny day to check it out. Good to get back out the bike again. It's been a while. It's feeling a bit rusty actually. Well, Tassie had some wild weather uh, just at the start of September. Hundreds or probably thousands of trees down. So I'll be over a few bush tracks today and this is what I'm seeing, you know. Great old gum trees that are big diameter things. Blocking the road. So it looks like it was rotten at the base. But uh, there's, there are just hundreds of trees down. You see them, I'm seeing them all over the place. So on the main tracks, uh, people have come through with chainsaws and cleared them. But any side track at the moment, this is what I'm seeing. Makes it hard to get around. So it's just gotten past two fallen trees. And there's like a third, a fourth and a fifth, just in about a few hundred metres. Cut these up already. Another tree. Just heaps of So, um, yeah, I got back on the bike after quite a few weeks away, and uh, it was good to get out the bush. And I came out to my favourite old place, uh, just out through um, Blessington, and. Um, Blessington and then get down sort of towards English Town and on this road, I call it the Chips Creek Road. It crosses the Nile River here, so I stopped stopped at the Nile and checked it out. I've uh, flown, had a, flew the drone as well, checked out uh, Down River a little bit and um, and then came back up on the Chips Creek Road, followed it around and I turned off it um, at this location here not long before the, the road that goes between uh, up to Ross Arden turned off and came down this track here, which I've been down before, but it's a, a really nice little run. Um, there are lots of trees down, um, especially in the early part, I had to go around them. And got down here to um, Buffalo River. So this is actually Gyps Creek running down here, and Buffalo Brook runs in here. They meet up here, and I, I, got, I got to the spot, um, I got to the spot down here where it crosses the, the Buffalo um, Brook, and I ended up turning back because I was just wasn't game enough to do it on my own. It looked uh, wider than what I'd seen on previous times and deeper, and um, after all the rain, so I had a look at it, turned back. So, but I've been through it a few other times. Okay, hope you enjoy. I'll have to go for a walk and see what way around this one. Maybe down the left. Maybe up there. I'll probably go down here. Looks like a four-wheel drive has done that. Okay. Looks like a way around. Down here. Go 
turn down towards Buffalo Creek. Trees here. Creek, there's not too much water. Not too much, but uh, hopefully, get across in one go. Well, the bike's out of a bit of a, a bit of a wash, and I'm going to stop here and have a cuppa. I'm on the Buffalo River, or Buffalo Creek, and it's a bit wider and a bit deeper than the last time I was here, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go over it or not just yet. So after a bit closer inspection, I've decided to turn back, and I'm going to go back up the track that I've come in on. I've only ever come down this way. I've never been the other way. After getting back to Gypps Creek Road, um, I took uh, a couple of other side tracks just to have a look. And on one of them I came across this uh, old hut. It, uh, it's in not bad shape, but it looks like it was associated with an old mine. There's a, an old shaft nearby, so not sure what they mined there. But uh, anyway, it was interesting. It looks like it's still used from time to time. So here's the hut. So some diggings here from years gone by. Yeah, so there's an old shaft here. Looks like people come here fairly often because there's fresh wood and stuff, gas stoves, all sorts of things. Plenty of wood, plenty of rubbish too, which is a shame. There's the back door. It says established 2012. <laughs> There's a few marshy, sort of grassy open areas off uh, Gypsy Creek Road in, in that region, and uh, I came across a few wombats on this ride. So I think on this ride altogether I saw about eight wombats. So in this location here, there are a few, maybe three or four. In another spot, I saw another three, and then ones and twos on the road. So it was a bit unusual to see so many. Anyway, wombats. They're great little critters. I think I've been sprung. He's sniffing the wind. The wind's behind me. So he knows I'm here in a hide. I'll go around the side. Probably run it. I 
I'm about four, four meters from him. He's sitting there, he's still. I'll leave him alone now. The only thing is I'm heading out and he's kind of following me. He's just hiding behind these tussocks. There he is. They're both sort of walking in parallel path. <laughs> Cute little guys. And he's walked right up to me. Go back the other way. Go on. So here's a little echidna. I've seen maybe uh, eight wombats today, which is a bit unusual. Here's the echidna trying to hide. Very thick little guys. They're cute. There he is right here, see? Sort of bow their head in. He's full of sharp prickles. If I pat him, he's trying to get his head right down under, which is protection. He was on the road when I came along and he shot down here. He's dug himself into the dirt. And the leaf litter and stuff. And I think they eat ants. I was talking to a fella before back on the road, on this road. He lives up here somewhere and he said there's a, a lot of deer. Well, I've seen deer on this road, but yeah, apparently there's a heap around. Other wombat. So uh, I'll just come into that little, an area where you can park to climb that hill. I'll have to put it on the bucket list. I haven't done it yet. But uh, that's it up there. It doesn't look too steep on the GoPro, but yeah, it looks steep here. Yeah, so there were uh, three wombats in this area and they all shot off into the bush. So that would have to be at least 10 I've seen, maybe 12 today. Unusual. Some days you don't see any or one. Okay, head back out. Back at the Nile River. It's beautiful. <laughs> 